Okay, so I'm back, and before the video starts, it's greatly appreciated when you interact. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I, I just realized I was a little slow. You know, when I was growing up, I was always told my attention span is just on the floor. I believe it. So, like, as I'm trying to get screenshots for this video, I go to the Lemuel Plumber, the CEO, his page, right? I go to his story, and I see him and Janisha kiss. I'm like, what the fuck? Kid you not, in my head, I'm like, oh, shit, this nigga is a cheater. You just kissed her knowing you married? Whole time they married. It's them two that's married. Thing is, I'm pretty sure she just had a birthday party in the club, and a lot of Zeus people was there, and I seen pictures. I really did not realize it was the Janisha lady that was his wife. I don't think I ever realized that. Like, what? That's weird. Like, I'm really mad at myself for not knowing that. Why would I not know that? Like, you really don't pay attention. Like, I'm, I'm kind of, like, irritated because why would... What? Anyway, this is the part two of Stunner Girl and Lemuel Whale Plumber. Uh, the first part, I'm going to post that first because, like, you know, it makes sense. It's the first one. And it's about her on her live yesterday. Okay, now this is the part two. Now, before we start, I want to say everything in this video is alleged. I'm not saying nothing is true. Okay, I'm not confirming anything. We just reading what they said, okay? Now, with me assuming that y'all watched the first part, we just gonna hop right into it. So, first, Stunner Girl said, The CEO of Zeus is a weird freak-ass nigga who freaks all his cast members except me. I'm not going for that. He over there giving girls chlamydia and disrespecting them. He mad he can't disrespect me and treat me anyway. How he does them because he know what's up with my husband. He know what's going on. I had 250,000 followers, not a hundred. My page was deleted for a year. That's the only reason my followers was at that number. Every show we went to, the crowd only knew my music. No other person. Uh, Ben had viral records and big features uh, before going on there. But my personality and drama is what put me on. You niggas so mad, I left. Get over it. They knew Krishan's song too. And one of Tommy's songs. So A lot of people feel like Sunny Girl is mad or irritated right now because the Limo Well Plumber Man, he, he did his interview with academics, right? And in that uh, interview, he was basically like, they he turned he's basically saying Zeus turned up Stunner Girl uh, audience and Krishan audience. So he was like, a lot of people wasn't really listening to Krishan music. A lot of people wasn't listening to Stunner Girl music, stuff like that. My personal experience or whatever, I knew Krishan song before Baddies, right? I did not know Stunner Girl at all. But Stunner Girl definitely had a platform before she got on Zeus because. Think about it. Who would have knew about the cage stuff? And apparently she went viral. I mean, it's all over the internet. She had viral songs before Zeus. She had a fan base before Zeus. She had clout or whatever before Zeus. You know, she was doing rolling loud shows before Zeus and stuff like that. So, Chris, not Krishan. Uh, Stunner Girl definitely, definitely had her own platform before Zeus. What we're not going to do is act like Zeus ain't help it. Like, Zeus ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, Zeus definitely put more eyes on her. I know that because me, myself, I didn't know who she was. I, I'm a new eye just because she was on Zeus. You know what I'm saying? Now, also, also, because you can't, you can't not say this. Just like how Zeus helped their career elevate some. I don't care how a little or a lot. Just like Zeus helped elevate their career some, they helped Zeus elevate some. Think about it. The first baddies with the old bad girls club girls and stuff, trash. Me, personally, didn't get past the second episode. Baddie South, it was Krishan season. Was it not? It was. Betty South, Krishan put the girl in the sink, right? Uh, she went head up with that girl again, and the girl lost, right? She fought Slim, Slim lost. Uh, that whole fight in front of that house with uh, Jayla, Roly, Slim, and Krishan, come on. Krishan was the star. I mean, the girl literally got caught by bounty hunters on the show. Like, it was Krishan's season, whether people like it or not. Now, Betty's West. It was Thunder Girl season, was it not? It was, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she got her look back on Tommy, what, first episode, something like that. The car ride with Biggie and Roly and Stunner Girl, viral. She fought Roly, Biggie, Tommy, Razor? I think Razor too, right? Then they fight on a plane or something. Every episode it became a new viral TikTok because of something Stunner Girl said, am I wrong? Not taking away from other girls because the other girls went viral too, but it's like, it was Stunner season, bro, I'm just saying. And then they, they ended off... With a shootout, which I don't agree with, but they did. They ended the season off with a shootout. Well, not really a shootout. I don't know, but they had that huge fight. I'm not saying that the CEO didn't give them their credit because I only seen a clip. I didn't watch the full interview, and I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to. I, like, can't stand academics. I'm sorry. But the same way Zeus helped Krishan and Stunner Girl career is the same way Krishan and Stunner Girl helped Zeus. It's just a fact. And let's be honest. 
that's with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these people already had their platforms and was doing good for themselves. And when they got on the show, yeah, it did. It did go up. But so did Zeus. Like Jonathan. Made Zeus go viral hella times. Even his first season, he wasn't even there for real. Orlando Brown. You can't tell me a lot of new people didn't tune in when they found out Orlando Brown was on Bad Boys. You cannot tell me that. You can't. <laughs> but you see how a lot of people was tuned in for Orlando Brown? You, If you flip it over... Zeus definitely helped Orlando Brown. They got him out of jail. They got him a paying job and stuff like that. It's a win-win situation for everybody, in my opinion. Anyway, I just did all that talking like we don't got a lot to read. I'm so sorry, y'all. So, Son of Girl said, people really mad I left and I posted that I left. That's where everything started because I posted left and he ran to the internet first. Um, Before that, they called me and begged me to take down the post, but I posted it back up. So, it's been beef ever since. Now, here's some crazy stuff. She said, niggas been beating on the girls all day having weird domestic violence going on so he always in a bad mood um and want to take it out on everybody else what what being on who his who janisha or like the cast members who are you talking about she said and i dare one of you girls to get on here and defend zeus i'm gonna start saying y'all names sam sam oh my god please sam and we didn't really get the list we wanted from tommy but we might could get the list we want from stunner girl so it's like stunner girl i promise i won't tell nobody I, I don't run my mouth. I'm I going to tell a soul. I just want to tell about 35, 36,000 people. That's it. And that ain't nothing compared to the 100 million that watch Zeus. This ain't nothing. Like, break the internet real quick. I'm just saying, break the internet just real quick. And I bet you, a lot of them names got a husband, a boyfriend, or yeah. Wait a minute. What about Krishan? Because did she say Krishan wasn't one of those girls? I don't see Krishan doing that, like, at all. I don't, well, no, mm -mm, I'm sorry, I don't see it. Oops, the girl said, all people do is sit around talking about me in interviews and posting shade about me, paying blogs to F with me. I'm not one of them. Y'all gonna see how I'm gonna be bitter about something I decided to quit and leave. Uh, y'all make no sense. These girls talk stuff about Zeus and be right back. I could have easily came back like they was begging me to. I didn't want to because it ain't worth it. So then, Stunner Girl posted a girl twerking and let me like hitting her butt right and she was like I'm, i wonder what cast member this is you know exactly who it is why are you playing with us you being mean to us for what we all we ain't do nothing to you they did just tell us we damn on top of that when the, when the cast uh first got revealed all of them was light-skinned but roly so it's like this literally could be everybody like don't piss me off bro just give us a name said an evil short perv R. Kelly, a.k.a. L. Kelly. All right, son of girl, you got a little too much dip on your chip now. You you can't be putting stuff out like that with no proof. I'm just saying, you might want to calm it down. I mean, if it's real, expose it instead of just saying stuff before they take your ass to uh, court. Do y'all think she said enough today for them to take her to court? Because she, she said a lot. I'm just saying. I mean, she called this man R. Kelly. She called this man a pervert. She uh accused him of domestic violence. I'm that's a lot. That's a lot. Don't you think? That's a lot. Like, that's going to be a mean discrimination lawsuit. Just, I'm just, dang, girl, hope you got proof. Because if they take you and you just got worried, I'm, anywho, she said, I was popping before that network was even heard of. True. I think she was. Wasn't, she, is it, wasn't her era like 2014, 2015 type of stuff, right? Then she decided to, wait, hold on. Remember when, um, when it was Thunder Girl versus Cat? And Kat was saying Stunner Girl slept with the producers and Lemmy and stuff like that. Remember when Stunner Girl and her husband was like, Lemmy family, bro, well, that would never happen, stuff like that. So you was family with a pervert? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was said. Anywho, she went and wrote a story, right? So first, she said, and none of your cast members like you for real. Probably only the new girls or the ones that scared of you, but they think you're a perverted, raging Adderall head. <laughs> okay. Perverted, raging Adderall head is crazy. That's crazy. But she said, you can't sue me because I have way too much evidence of your sexual harassment and abuse against your cast members. And everything I'm saying, true, I could literally say names, but I'm still sparing some girls. It was an uncomfortable environment and I didn't want to be around. Stunner girl, I thought you left for money reasons. What? She said, it started being too much like you beating on girls and thinking it's cool, leaving bruises and scratches, straight domestic violence on girls. Uh, 
who would want to be around that you're getting out of control laughing my behind off too much partying and drugs got you looking got you losing it buddy that's why you me and my husband was into it with y'all because i stand on my respect you even threatened to edit my fight saying i still gotta edit your fights like what does that mean uh you know what's up with me boy what what the way stomach girl explaining this stuff is given in about five years it's gonna be a documentary saying surviving zeus network because this shit is crazy Given in a couple years, Janisha might expose everything and she gonna take more than half of Zeus network. I'm just saying, from what Stunner Girl is saying, if I put into play everything she's saying, I'm not saying none of this stuff is true, but it's... I wonder if they got a prenup. Do y'all got a prenup? And look though, this man, he ain't say nothing for real. All he said was, don't believe the hype, Zeus Nation. I don't know this man. I don't know his personality, nothing like that. He could just be playing it cool for social media and behind the scenes calling up his lawyer ready to sue her ass. If, I, don't, I don't know. I don't, this is ghetto. And I hope everything Stunner Girl is saying is a lie. For everybody else, I hope it's a lie. Because that would be crazy if girls is really there getting beat on this shit. Because I, child, that's dead. <laughs> Where is these girls' husbands? Boyfriends? Brothers? Mm -mm. That man ain't but that big, nigga. The, 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 the girls could probably take his ass. I'm just saying. I mean, like, the nigga smaller than Scotty. And what the hell Janisha gonna do? Like, huh? <laughs> Y'all could take this nigga if you think about it. Well, he got security, though. Damn. Mm. Alright. Anywho, y'all, everything, like I said before, everything in this video is alleged. Nothing is confirmed. I'm not stating anything as facts. And we'll see how it play out. Hopefully, Stunner Girl dropped that list. So, if you found this video interesting, and I hope you did, please like, comment, subscribe, share, turn your post notifications on. Thank you.